All right, can you make out the rainbow right there? Just a little bit. Short little rainbow coming out of the clouds there. Eh? Here we are in uh, mid-August 2011 here in Arizona. And what I wanted to show you here in this uh, kind of a really humid, muggy day is what some people might call a problem. But uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try it out. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. I call it living mulch. This is my Lisbon lemon tree. And check out this tree well. <laughs> Look at that. It looks unreal, doesn't it? Like a carpet. And that, my friends, is what is known as spurge weed. And you know what? I got a letter <laughs> from the HOA one time. That's how I know the name of this stuff. A neighbor had it growing over on my side. We both got a letter. And uh, I said, you know what? I kind of like this stuff. It looks pretty cool. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it gets a little flower too. I think it's a little yellow flower, a little purple one. But look at this. I mean, this is a carpet. This is, I mean, this is better than grass. And I have it in this tree well here. And as you can tell, uh, I'll make another video shortly on this too. This is kind of cool. I threw some squash and uh, watermelon here around the uh, citrus tree and I thought you know I'm giving it a shot just on this tree with this spurge weed as a living mulch and just just for the uh, the look I mean that is just cool I mean the lesbian tree it was hurting you know when I put them in and you got to remember here this is Arizona this is it went through June July we're in August I mean the coldest temperature this poor tree has seen it's, you know, in the daytime, it's probably 105. So, and it's leafing out. It looks real good. I got fruit on it. Quite a, quite a number of fruit, actually, for the size of this tree. You know, and if you take a look, it's healthy. It's leafing out everywhere. So, there's no signs of stress as far as, you know, I've heard people tell me um, it's going to suck all the nutrients out. It's going to suck all the water out. Yeah, what I've noticed so far is it actually, it, it's kind of a conserving water. I mean, I don't know if it's just the evaporation isn't really happening as much as the other trees with uh, the alfalfa hay um, or just, you know, compost in them. But, uh, oh, check it out, hummingbirds. <laughs> anyway, and, and not, yeah, and not only that, uh, is it, the tree's growing great with, spurge weed in here but I also have these squash and they're doing just fine too so I've got quite a few things that you know would according to a lot of people would be draining this Lisbon lemon tree of a lot of nutrients and uh, yeah it's small tree it's spindly but give it give it give it time it's been in the ground maybe four months is all and uh, this is a really if you can plant citrus in the summer uh, you, uh, you kind of uh, <laughs> You cross your fingers, you know what I mean? So, anyways, I thought I'd show you this spurge weed. I think it's cool. I might be in for a, uh, a huge nightmare. But if you look real close, it's really a uh, small leaf um, runners. And look at all those. Those are um, flower heads pretty soon. And I think it's yellow, maybe it's purple. And I just think it looks awesome. And I'll show you an update here when it, when it flowers. But, you know, my plan is, it's a living mulch, just going to let it just grow and fill in. And, uh, you know, I, I trimmed it one time around the circumference there. That's why it looks so perfect. But, um, and you can just rip this stuff, too, with your hands. It's super fast. It has got a little white sap. It's kind of sticky. But um, I'm just going to throw compost right over the top when the time comes. You know, the three times a year, we top dress the citrus trees. And just throw it right on top. And just, there's so many seeds from this stuff. It's, it'll reseed in no time and do the same thing. And uh, so, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Kind of a little experiment. But the stuff is so cool. You rip some off a handful. You throw it anywhere. It's going to grow. It's really, it's really amazing stuff. So, I guess uh, 
that's it. We'll give you an update here shortly on both the uh, squash and the melons and the uh, spurge.